Hi guys, Rachel here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a mermaid unboxing video. I have two mermaid decks that I really, really wanna show off and show you guys and do kind of like <clears throat> an unboxing deck reveal video because I have not looked through these cards yet. Actually, I lie, I've looked through one of them. Uh, <laughs> but I haven't worked with it yet. So if you are interested in having a look to see two mermaid tarot deck unboxings, please keep on watching. <laughs> that took forever to get here. <laughs> so um, I literally purchased the Tarot of Serene. Ooh, and my nails just happened to match the cards. How perfect. I ordered Tarot of Serene um, probably like the end of March. Literally right when all this shit hit the fan kind of thing, right? When we, <laughs> when we went on shutdown, like when the world just ended practically. And I figured, okay, shipping is going to take a while. It most likely will be delayed. It's coming from outside of the country. So I figured probably won't see it till the end of April. April came and went. May came and went. This little deck didn't come to me till like well into the first week of June. <laughs> um, and I literally had pretty much decided. I had pretty much told myself it's lost in the mail, right? Nope. It came and I was so happy because this deck is so cute. So um, basically the Tarot of Serene, it's in this cute little, you know, aqua, like an aqua blue greenish color box and it opens like that, like a little treasure box. Um, and it has a cute little, cute little clam with, with a pearl. Ooh, what does it say on the inside? Para Tita y Mama for Mum and Gran. How cute! Okay, so <laughs> the deck is really teeny tiny. It's little, okay? So it's like about the palm, the size of the palm of your hand. It's super cute. So the card backs are holographic, really, really pretty. Um, and I believe it is ocean waves. It looks kind of like ocean waves, maybe scales. I don't know. It looks more like ocean waves to me. But it is holographic, so super pretty, really, really pretty. And the cards are so pretty and simple and beautiful colors and all of the above. So if you guys want to see an up close of this deck, let's get into it. So um, here is an up close look at this gorgeous little deck. Um, it is in different language, okay? So if you're not familiar with with the cards. Um, it might be a little problem problematic if you don't know, <laughs> but it's pretty, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the major arcana. Let me go ahead and pull those. Let's do the major arcana and then we'll, we'll look at the minors after. So here's a close up of the card backs. And we have the fool. The Magician. The High Priestess, which I love that they made the High Priestess with the double fin. I love that. The Empress. The Emperor. Love the squiggly tails. Look at the gorgeous fin underneath his arm. Like I'm telling you guys, I love I love mermaids. I have an obsession, but I love mermaids. Here's the hierophant who have the squiggly, like the curly tails and stuff. They just look so much more authentic. It's like a vintage feel. The lovers. The chariot. I love that little seahorses. <laughs> so cute. Justice, an octopus. I love that. See how it's just so simple? The hermit is a hermit crab. So perfect. I love that. Super cute. <clears throat> the wheel of fortune.
strength. Little lion. Little sea lion. Is that what it's supposed to be? Like a little sea lion? So cute. The hangman. Death. So like the word la mort, they're kind of hard to read because you don't really, you know, I mean, I don't know, to me it is, but I know what the cards are, so it's not that bad. I like that though. It's like a merman, but skeletal. <laughs> Temperance. The devil. The tower. The star. The moon. So pretty. Love that face. The sun. Judgment. Another little octopusy. Love it. In the world. Love these little sea creatures. So cute. I freaking love this deck. <clears throat> I'm not going to go card by card, but I do want to show you guys. It is a pip deck. Okay. So the illustrations um, for the, the miners are very simple. It's just, it pretty much just displays the um, if it's a cups, it's going to show, you know, the number of cups per card. So there's not really much to go based off of if you're into the, the imagery and all that. But I find pip cards are really good for, um, how, you know, working on your intuition and all of that. Then you have the court cards. So the court cards are illustrated. So you have the page of cups, the knight of cups. the Queen of Cups, and the King of Cups. And then you have the Pentacles, really, really pretty. I love the color scheme in these cards. And then you have Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacle, the Queen of Pentacle, I got, I got confused right now, and the King of Pentacle. Love, look at his tail, my God. And then you have the wands. Page of wands. Knight of wands. They're all like riding sea creatures. <laughs> the queen of wands. And the king of wands. And lastly, the sword suit. Very simple illustrations. And then you have the page of swords, knight of swords, queen of swords. I like how they have wings too because it's an air element. And the king of swords. And it's just such a fun deck, you guys. And look at how gorgeous. Look at how when the lighting hits the card backs. Oh, so pretty. So that is the Tarot of Serene. This is the box. By the Wandering Oracle. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this deck, you're going to want to go to their website. I will go ahead and link it in the description box. It's a fun little deck. Shipping may take a while, but it got here, so I'm happy. <laughs> okay, so the other deck that I wanna show you guys is called the Messages from the Mermaids. Now this one is by Karen Kay, which if you look at Karen Kay's Instagram and like, you know, <laughs> I didn't even know, I never heard of her until I was like on the hunt for mermaid decks back when I was doing mermaid season in the month of May and I found this deck. It was actually on a pre-order on Amazon um, and I never pre-ordered it because of this whole COVID thing. Um, I figured the shipping was just going to be too crazy so I figured I would just wait till it's in stores. 
And um, so I found, I discovered Karen Kay that way. So I followed her because I thought, I wanna remember this deck, I don't wanna forget it. And Karen Kay has a very nostalgic feel of Doreen Virtue status. <laughs> So if you remember good old Doreen Virtue and you remember her kind of like fairy tale-esque essence, that's Karen Kay. She has like a very similar feel to it. So if you miss, if you miss Doreen Virtue and all of that goodness, then follow Karen Kay because she's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Um, so anyways, she came out with two decks. There's actually two new decks that she came out with and one of them is a fairy oracle, but I was obviously interested in mermaids. So this is called Messages from the Mermaids. It's a 44 card deck. Um, it's by Hay House. So it's literally like, you just get that feel of Doreen Virtue. So the box, the oracle deck comes in a nice little box. And let's dive in and look at the cards up close. All right, you guys, so. This is the box up close. Messages from the mermaids. Artwork is by Linda Olson. Gorgeous artwork too, by the way. When you fully open your heart and mind to the mermaids, miraculous transformations can happen. How sweet. <laughs> okay, so when you open it up, this is what you get. You get a guidebook. Messages from the mermaids. Basic little guidebook from Hay House. It's not in color, but you get a nice little chunk of information on each card. And you get tarot spreads, and that's what I like to see because I like to I like to do tarot spreads every once in a while. So you get some cute little spreads there. Okay. <clears throat> So the cards, here's the backs, nice little seashell. Really pretty colors, very mermaid-esque. And the cards, look at this, oh my gosh, like look at this artwork. It's, it kind of reminds me of Van Gogh, sort of, you know? But, oh my God, okay. So there's, obviously there's diversity in this deck, which we love. There's also diversity, lots of diversity in Tarot Serene as well. But um, abundance, so you get like the one, the single word and the cards themselves are pretty nice size. That's that's pretty good handful, pretty typical Oracle size. No, there's no edges or no edging, no gilded edgings. The card stock is kind of, kind of thick but I don't think that'll be a problem to shuffle. Acceptance. Ask for help. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. Oh, I like this. I'm so excited. I've, I've, I've been wanting a new mermaid deck, an oracle deck for a while. Awareness. And she's a nice voluptuous mermaid. Oh my God, I love that. Look at how voluptuous she is. We're not just seeing like skinny, skinny mermaids, you know? That makes me happy. <laughs> so cute, awareness. Oh my God, another voluptuous mermaid. Hell yeah, be spontaneous. Oh my God, if I was a mermaid, this is how I would look. Sitting in my little clamshell with my pearl my like voluptuousness everywhere oh my god <laughs> this makes me so happy i love it because you always see mermaids portrayed as super skinny right super skinny with like red hair so it's nice to see diversity blessings so gorgeous artwork is beautiful breaking free i love the octopus so many octopus tentacles breaking free. Communication. Little sea turtle. Brittany, if you're watching, there's your little sea turtle. <laughs> Contemplation. I love the tail. Contentment. Decisions. 
discernment. Dive deep. Gorgeous. Dreaming. Look at how pretty. Oh, so pretty. Feelings. And these are new too. These these words, like sometimes you know, in Oracle decks, you kind of get the same the same words, but I'm seeing some new stuff. Free spirit. It's pretty. Friendship. The future. Ooh, I like this one. Looking into her little crystal ball, the future. Gentleness. So I like to see some mermen. That's kind of nice. Go with the flow. Gratitude. So cute. Just like meditating. <laughs> Healing. I like that one. That's a really pretty picture. Hope. The rainbow in the background. So, so, so pretty. Inner knowing. Innocence. Letting go. I love it. Light. Love. Magic. She has like little wings. Looks like fairy wings. <laughs> Memories. Just holding photographs. Miracles. Move forward. Ooh, look at his tail. He has, instead of like a fence, he's got, it looks like he has feet, but like fishy feet. That's cool, I like that. That's different. Move forward. And I like it, move forward with your growing your legs, walking. <laughs> Mystery. Patience. It's beautiful. Positivity. Yes. <laughs> Re-energize. A little stingray. Recognition. Relaxation. Solitude. That's a pretty picture. Support. Gorgeous. Trust. Truth. I like this one too. The I just love I love the way she made the, the fins and everything looks so real. Turn away. I like that one too. That's a different. You don't see that <clears throat> you don't see that phrase very much. Waiting. That's pretty. That's I found out that's the cover. <laughs> oh my gosh, so gorgeous. I think the only thing that I don't like about this is there's no whales. I didn't see any whales in the cards, at least that, none that's jumped out at me, but I love this. This is so, so, so nice. This is refreshing um, because the mermaid decks, we don't see very many more mermaid decks. So let me go ahead and move this okay. over. Yeah, it's really refreshing to kind of see a mermaid deck come out. I love mermaids. I have a lot of love and just so much love and affection for mermaids. <laughs> Um, I was just, that was like my thing when I was little. I was, I used to always pretend I was a mermaid and I loved Little Mermaid and I loved watching Splash, that movie with Daryl Hannah. I was just so into mermaids. So being able to bring a little piece of my childhood into my readings is kind of nice and I love it. So this deck is definitely this mermaid deck, Messages from the Mermaids. 
This is definitely going to be popping up in my readings for you guys. You will definitely be seeing a lot of it. It's so, so, so pretty. Um, let's do a quick little reading since I have a tarot deck and an oracle, oracle deck. So let's do a quick reading, why not? Let me see if I could push this back just a little bit so you guys can see the table and me. Um, but yeah, why don't we just do a quick little reading because I always have a rule. <laughs> I always have a, and I don't think there was a, there was no guidebook that came with this deck. I don't, I'm not sure if it's, if you purchase it separate or I don't think it comes with one. So if any of you guys own this deck and you, if you, you have one or you know, leave a comment. So, so my followers will know. Um, but anyways, the cardstock, and I never went over the cardstock in this deck is it's, it's thin, but it will help to shuffle easily. So, um, anyways, I have a rule <clears throat> when I get new decks is I will not read for anybody until I have read for myself with the cards. So let's go ahead and just do a live reading on video right now <laughs> and see. So I'm going to go ahead and set the intention for these cards. I just ask that um, spirit bring through a message that I need to hear right now. A message that I need to hear right now and what kind of energies do these cards, which, what energies do you guys have to um, bring to the table with me in my readings with clients? So let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, these guys shuffle real easily. I like it. Can you guys see? The only thing about these thinner decks, I will say, um, is that they tend to morph when you're sharp, like shuffling. So if you're if you're a, if you're an in intense shuffler like I am, uh, <laughs> you may bend the cards a little bit. But I'm not. I'm not. You know, it doesn't bother me, bother me. Like it's no big deal. Just thought I would mention that too. So messages that I need to hear. And what kind of energies do you guys bring to the table in my readings in the future? Ooh, so we have the um, Empress that just popped up, number three, the Empress. So let's see what Oracle card. What Oracle card comes through? I'm letting my candle... This is like a new candle that I just, that I made. So I'm letting it burn and I can kind of smell the, the lavender. So that's, that's hopeful. I'm trying to create the perfect candle for my, for my website. Okay. All right. Ooh, okay. So I got free spirit and the Empress, free spirit and the Empress. So let's talk about the Empress first. So the Empress energy is telling me that um, right now, guidance for me personally, Empress, the Empress is creation and be creative. So I feel like um, I'm getting the message of needing to continue to be creative and be more grounded with it. Like I said, I was talking about my candles. I've been making candles and um, I really wanna have a product to sell on my website. So that's something new. And so I feel like this card is, the Empress card is kind of saying, remain grounded and, con and continue doing it, even though it's, and so I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit hard <laughs> to come up with the perfect candle, but I'm determined to get it done. So trial and error, trial and error. <laughs> um, so I feel like the Empress is saying that. I also feel like the Empress is bringing forward that this deck, the Tarot of Serene is going to bring forward really like mama um, guidance, mama energy when I'm reading for clients. So this may be a deck that I might pull for situations or, or questions having to do with love, having to do with self-love, having to do with motherhood or being a parent, um, those kind of situations. I feel like this deck, Tarot of Serene, will be a really good one with that. And also for the creative too, because we have that with the Empress. So I like that. I think that that's really cool. Now, as far as the messages of the mermaids, we have free spirit. So I feel like free spirit is telling me personally um, to let my hair down. Like the first thing that I'm like drawn to is the fact that her hair is down and it's just kind of like free going, free flow. She's not, she kind of just has that essence of like, she doesn't have a care in the world. She's totally relaxed. <laughs> and so I feel like free spirit is kind of telling me I need to relax. And especially because I'm really like, 
I'm really stressing about these candles, you guys. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm a semi-perfectionist when it comes to things. And it's not so much perfectionist. I would say it's more like I obsess. Like I obsess over things. And to me, it's like right now I'm obsessing over getting the perfect candle. So I feel like the free spirit is kind of telling me that with my creative endeavors that I need to just go with the flow. Go with the flow just a little bit more. Um, not trying to have so much control. Now, in terms of the energy of this deck, and when I do readings, the essence of this deck is free spirit. It's going to give me whatever comes to mind. Um, spirit is not going to have any limitations. There's no boundaries with this deck. So I feel like this deck is kind of saying you can do any kind of readings with me. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to tell you to only do love readings. I'm not going to tell you only to do money readings or whatever. So this deck is a little bit more free spirit, free flow. And I kind of like that because, <laughs> because I feel like this is going to be um, and a very intense, favorite of mine especially during this summer season so I love it beautiful beautiful energies beautiful reading I'm so happy um, I'm so thankful that my tarot of serene made it to me because it is a beautiful little deck and um, I don't know it's just it's just fun like you can't ever have too many mermaid decks right <laughs> So Tarot of Serene and then obviously the Messages of the Mermaids. Is it Messages of? Oh, Messages from the Mermaids. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that it came. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or feedback, leave it below. And um, actually comment below and tell me, like, what is your favorite mermaid deck? your favorite mermaid tarot deck or your favorite mermaid oracle what's your favorite um let me know because i think i really think this one's gonna be a fast favorite of mine <laughs> for the longest time i really enjoy oracle of the mermaids but i think this is gonna be the new one so let me know what your favorite is and until next time i will see you guys later love you bye